At kaugnay sa usapin ng charter change, makakapanem natin ngayong umaga si Attorney Christian Monsod. Miyembro siya po siya ng 1986 Constitutional Commission na nagmalangkas ng ating konstitusyon ngayon at dating COMELEC chairman din. Good morning po, Attorney Monsod. Morning. Okay, sir. Kakapanood lang natin doon sa panayam kay Pangulong Noynoy Aquino, sinabi niya na hindi term extension ang dahilan niya kung bakit uh, gusto niyang magkaroon ng charter change. They mentioned two things. One, bawasan yung power ng judiciary kasi sobra-sobra daw yung kapangyarihan ng judiciary. And second, meron daw kasing mga economic provisions ang constitution na kailangan daw baguhin. Upuntahan muna natin, let's get it out of the way, yung, okay. yung judiciary. Uh -huh. Sa tingin niyo po ba, ito sobra-sobra no, talaga uh, yung, yung power? sinasabi niya, na sobra yung power ng mm -hmm. yung judiciary is only based on the DAP decision. But yung, yung DAP decision na yun uh, has only one constitutional issue, yung cross-border use correct. of savings. Yung mga iba can hindi all be solved by gino... ordinary legislation. Right. And hindi naman niya talaga ginawang unconstitutional yung buong DAP program. It's just that yeah. one a uh, provision na uh, yung cross... Yung sinasabi lang niya ng mechanics. Correct. And apat oh, oh. Isa lang talaga doon ang constitutional issue. Pero yung iba, ang, uh, ang, ano, ang program funds, cover of appropriations, statutory mm -hmm. meaning. That's all in the, in the you know, uh, yung Appropriation Act. Mm -hmm. And Congress can change that if they want. And rendering, uh, rendering academic the decision of the Supreme Court on those points. So, 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 hindi mo kailangan ng charter change para, quote-unquote, ay bawasan. Ay, pag binawasan mo yun, mag-iiba yung, mag yung checks and balances system natin. Pag binawasan mo yun. Because, kasi very unfortunate din na uh, sinabay niya yun doon sa opening up the, yung alisin ng term limits. Tapos mm -hmm. babawasan yung power ng Supreme Court. Double barrel John. Okay. Kasi, di ba? He can use discretionary funds and who, who will question it? So, sa tingin ninyo, hindi sobra-sobra? ang uh, kapangyarihan ano, ng judiciary. It's a very delicate balance. And once you accept one part of it, mag-iiba yung accountability system. At kung meron mang flaws or whatever na kailangan uh, i-fine-tune or, or ayusin, pwedeng Congress na lang ang gumawa nito. Hindi kailangan baguhin yung buong Yeah, well, actually, yung sinatawag din ng Constituent Assembly, although that does, the words do not appear there, yung three-fourths vote of all the members voting separately, can do both revision and amendment. Yung people's initiative, hindi pwede, amendment lang. Mm -mm. And of course, you can have the constitutional convention. Okay, now let's go to the economic provisions. Kasi yeah. hindi lang naman sa administrasyong ito na narinig natin na kailangan ng charter change dahil very restrictive daw yung ilang mga economic provisions. Binabasa ko ngayon dito yung, uh, yung kanilang resolution at ang sinasabi nilang premise ay dahil nga daw may mga restrictive economic provisions daw at kapag binago daw yung constitution ay uh, mas makakapag-compete daw for more investments ang, uh, ang, 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 ang Pilipinas. Um, wow. What do you think of this? Kasi tinitingnan ko yung mga insertions na But gusto nila. Yan, no? uh -uh. Uh, ang gusto nila 10 whole, wholesale insertions. No? Okay. Now, if you look at the yung mga reserved areas uh, to Filipinos, mm -mm. it's really about monopolies. And wh what's wrong with our taking measures to see to it that this is not abused? And why can't that be in the control of Filipinos? Uh, kasi importante. Ano po kasi ba yung mga ayaw land, nila? Land, natural resources, public utilities. Okay. Lahat right na yan, now? Yan, lahat na yan. Lahat monopolistic, ano eh, character. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Land. Once you own it, you can do what you want. Natural resources, when you're given a mining concession, you have a monopoly of the minerals in that area, plus you have the rights to water and forestry. Okay. All right. In public utilities, di ba? So, ang gusto nilang mangyari... So, yung, yung, less not, yung, yung, ano, yung iba. Mm -mm. Yung, for example, advertising. Okay. Eh, iba yun eh. Di ba? Like, media has been overtaken by technology. Mm -hmm. Iba mm -hmm. yun. Yung education, importante. But, but to me, yung, uh, yung natural monopolies, uh, we should really regulate that. Now, uh, ang, 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 ang question, what about foreign direct investment? You know, we should look at the experience of Northeast Asian countries. Kasi it's not just growth, it's development. Development is about equitable distribution. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Now, look at, look at these countries. During the time of their highest growth rate, yung pinakamata, mm -hmm. pinakamataas na kanilang growth rate, and development, mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. uh, the contribution of foreign direct investment mm -hmm. to total investment is less than 2%. Less than 2%. So why is that now 
the focus of charter change. Now, mm -hmm. di ba? Hindi ko maintindihan yun. Now, yeah. <laughs> kasi yung, uh, yung kanilang, uh, yung, kung titingnan nila experience ng other countries, that we have not done that for 50 years. Uh -oh. Kaya nga, we uh -oh. have mass poverty, we have big inequalities, right? And we have the lowest, slowest growing economy in this part of the world, 1.58% average a year for past 50 years. So, so Everybody else is faster than us, uh -oh. with the lowest per capita income, right? and we have the second highest inequality. Where we are, since sabi nila, we're now the tiger, no, we are the basket case of Asia up to now. Now, what did these countries follow? Three major strategic policies. Number one, agriculture development with agrarian reform. Okay. Because that's where the poor are. Right. right? Number two, manufacturing capability with export discipline. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And number three, uh, mandating the banking system to serve development goals and not short-term profits. At ito hindi ginagawa ngayon? We don't do that. Look at that, ano, just lately, this uh, in quarter, 6.4% growth. What is the contribution of agriculture? Mal Less than 1%. Yes, yes. 0.3%. Something wrong with our agricultural policies. And Congress is the policy-making department of our government. Why don't they take a look at this? Instead of rushing to pass this wholesale insertion, right? and, and the outcome, and what the result, we, we really don't know. But it's very dangerous. This is a very dangerous, and you know it's deceptive. Because it looks harmless. Yeah, kasi I'm looking at it, tapos uh, ang parang ang ipapabago lang naman nila. Halimbawa, sa Section 2, uh, Article um, 12, lalagyan lang naman nila ng unless otherwise provided by law. Five words. Yes. And tapos uh, yung ten Section 3, ganun din. Article 12, Section 3, unless otherwise provided by law. Ilalagay lang yung five words na yun. Yes. It's a whole Isn't this say, harmless? It's a whole, yes, it is harmless, harmful. Because, ganito yan. Once that's done, pag nakuha nila yung three-fourths vote mm -mm. in each of all members in each chamber, and it goes to plebis, and it's approved, right? Ano po ba ibig sabihin pag sinabing an, lalagyan mo ng insertion na unless otherwise provided ibig by Ibig sabihin, no, binibigyan mo ng kapangyarihan ng Congress na palitan lahat ng mga percentages na yun, tsaka limitations on management by ordinary law. Yan ang, yan ang importante dyan. Kasi ngayon, so, the power is in the Constitution, oh, oh. right? Oh, oh. And the Constitution is hard to amend or revive, which is correct. correct. It's a basic law of the land. Pero ang gusto nila, pag pinasa itong, itong unless otherwise provided by law, ang, ang resulta niya ang ganito. Pag nandyan na yan, Congress, by ordinary law, right? Pwedeng can change to 51%, 60%, 70%, over 90%. Eh di parang mas mataas ang Congress uh, kaysa doon sa wala Constitution? Wala nang need of a three-fourths vote of all the members. Wala nang need of a constitutional convention if necessary. Wala nang need for a plebiscite. In other words, wala nang taong bayan dyan sa decision-making na yan. It's all now under the discretion of Congress. And they can use this power anytime. This insertion transfers the power from the Constitution with its safeguards mm -hmm. from the Constitution to Congress. It's an assumption of power, of more powers by Congress. So on question, why do you want that kind of power, right? Well, if I were malicious, I'd say, boy, that, that, that's, that all becomes a blank check for Congress, a big temptation for corruption. Because there's a lot of money in people interested in those changes. But those changes adversely affect mainly the poor. For example, yung lupa, mm -mm. yung natural resources. Mm -mm. Sino apektado dyan? Mm -hmm. Pag inaba mo yung, yung mga rules dyan, eh siyempre mahihirap. But, pag ginawa natin yan, in-insert natin wholesale yung, yung provision na yan, wala na ang taong bayan sa decision na yan. It only is Congress and, of course, the President to sign an ordinary law. So, in layman's terms, parang kung kunyari ikaw ay isang dayuhang uh, negosyante at gusto mong magkaroon ng korporasyon dito, of course, hindi naman pwede yan. Kailangan, mm. di ba, merong percentage kung, mm. uh, kung dapat Pilipino ang may, mm. ang may are. Pero, pag in-insert itong un unless otherwise provided by law, mm. Maglalabi ka lang sa Kongreso. Maglalabi ka lang sa Kongreso mm. at pwedeng gumawa ng batas ang Kongreso para payagan ka na. Yes. Oh, yun na lang. 
In other words, it renders meaningless. The constitutional provision is now meaningless because uh -huh. yeah, the power is now in Congress. You might as well remove those provisions right? because Congress can do what he wants. Now, and the question in our minds is this. Why, why is it so important? For example, uh -oh. yung land. Uh -oh. uh, you can lease land. The foreigners can lease land yes. for 50 to 75 years. Okay. Now, what is the difference? That ang difference is that they can get the windfall profits from the increase in value of the land. And that increase in value is, is by reason of infrastructure and other expenditures by government, of people's money. Hindi naman sila nag... Ang ano eh, di ba? Because development uh, ano eh, overtakes uh, the value of, uh, of land. So it's just ironic. So if, if, mm -mm. if the foreign investor mm -mm. needs that windfall value in land for a project, that's not a good project. Not a good project, correct? Uh -uh. To, to make the project viable. Secondly, mining. Uh, what they're talking about that you, that you need foreign investment here and, and there's an obstacle. 100% uh -uh. foreign ownership is allowed under the Constitution today. Is that Yung so? Yung na financial and technical assistance agreement and this agreement that the President can enter into with a foreign company 100% foreign ownership. That's available now, yung FTAA mining agreement. So uh, what are they talking about? No now? restrictive now, the, what, provisions. What is the restriction provision to foreign investment? In that case, for example, in public utilities, anong problema natin, looming problem of lack of supply of generation capacity, divine mm -hmm. generation. But power generation is open 100% to foreign investment. So question is, why isn't investment coming? Pwede pa lang 100%. And then, let's take a look at the recommendations of the foreign chambers of commerce, or the yung sa arangkada kanila. Mm -hmm. And let's look at the World Investment Survey. Mm -hmm. Ano ito? What are important factors to attract foreign investment? Foreign direct investment. Number one, infrastructure. Number two, quality of the labor. Number three, uh, general regulatory environment and rules of the game. Number four, corruption. Number five, peace and order. Number six, fiscal determination. Nowhere is it priority to change the constitution because for all intents and purposes, bukas, bukas na yan eh, di ba? So, so tama ba yung, yung, yung pagkakaintindi ko, sir, na sa inyong pananaw, ito pong um, kanilang resolusyon para amyendahan ng constitution, hindi talaga para luwagan yung mga restrictions. It's a self-serving it's a self-serving assumption of power by taking it out of the Constitution and giving the power to themselves, ang Congress. Now, ang question So, hindi ko, ito pagluluwag sa mga restrictions ng economic provisions natin, pero pagdadagdag sa kapangyarihan ng Kongreso? Oh, di ba? Because hindi na kailangan yung ano, ordinary, ano na lang, ordinary legislation na lang, papalitan yung mga, mga limitations na yan. No? So, but that's ironic kasi gusto ngang bawasan ni Pangulong Aquino yung kapangyarihan supposedly ng judiciary tapos dadagdagan naman pala doon uh, sa Congress. Tatanggalin sa Constitution, ilalagay sa Congress. Uh, I'm surprised kasi mm -hmm. nung araw against siya dyan eh. Ngayon, for, he, ano na siya, in favor of mm -hmm. this. Di ba? So, ang, ang tanong ko sa mga, ta sa mga taong bayan natin, kababayan natin, Gusto ba ninyong bigyan ng ganyang kalaking kapangyarihan. kapangyarihan ang Kongreso? Do you trust Congress will exercise that power responsibly? Or do we, we need the constitutions, constitutional safeguards uh, to do that? Mm -hmm. eh, yung yung uh, insertion na yun, unless otherwise provided by law, Gives sinising power it to Congress. Eh. Sinising it yun. But it's a very good tactical move. It's a clever move. Uh, mm -hmm. Kasi ngayon, Wala namang media and public attention doon sa issue yun. Eh. So ito yung sinasabi ninyo, harmless deceptively yan. harmless. Yes. That's why it's deceptively harmless. It looks like it's it's harmless kasi parang limang salita lang, uh -oh. but it really gives a lot of power yeah, to Congress. Yeah, and, and moreover, doon sa, sa changes na yun, it doesn't even touch the percentages at saka yung limitations. Mm -hmm. So you cannot even argue on the merits. Kasi wala pa naman eh, wala pa naman kayong pinupropose. Uh, binibigyan lang namin ng flexibility. S who are you giving flexibility to? To yourselves. So Congress. it's like a blank check, ano? It's a blank check. It's a blank check to Congress. That's very dangerous. To tinker with the Constitution for purposes 
of assuming more powers than they have now. And speaking of Congress, oh, ito naman, pork barrel. Ano po ang tingin ninyo dito sa gumugulong na People's Initiative against pork barrel? I, I don't know if they can do it. Ah, mahirap yan, di ba? Uh, 10% of total mm -hmm. uh, signature population, 10%, 3% in each uh, district. Medyo mahirap yan. Mahirap yun. Oh, mahirap yan. Pero uh, nandiyan na ano eh, ang Supreme Court decision. No, kailangan lang bantayan kung sumusunod dyan ang uh, executive at legislative. So you think so you think enough na yung pagde-declare ng consi ng uh, ng Korte Suprema na unconstitutional ang ang PDAF para at hindi na kailangan ng uh, ng um, you know ng law. Uh, bantayan lang ng nila. Ibantayan lang nila in circumvention. Okay. In circumvention na nande wala nang PDAF pero meron na namang panibagong in paraan. Form. Okay. So ang sa akin ano ang dapat atupagin ng ating kongreso ngayon? Number okay. one, uh, nakita na natin yung experience ng other, yung successful developing countries, FDI, mm -hmm. direct, it's not that important, right? Mm -hmm. Other things. What are the other things? Yung fulfilled, totally fulfilled, yung ating social reform program for the poorest of the poor, agrarian mm -hmm. reform, mm -hmm. urban land reform, mm -hmm. ancestral domain, municipal superman. Number two, at this time, we need to restore the trustworthiness of our democratic institutions. Mm -hmm, right? okay. mm -hmm. And then okay. as I mentioned, yung policies. At saka last one, kasi anyway, I was former government chair. Oh, yun, Elections yeah. is just around the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, let us really see to it as democratic elections. Kasi ang, uh, we're equating democratic elections with automated counting. Right? But what is the point of counting accurately the ballot that has already been devalued by the use of money by dysfunctional political parties that give us poor choices and by loose firearms, warlords, and political dynasties. Let's attend to those structural problems. These are important. Ito importante sa ating mga kababayan. Mm -hmm. At itong mga ganitong klaseng resolution ay basahin. Self-serving. Basahin yan. natin ng mabuti yes. para hindi tayo Pag ma... Pag-intindihan natin, ano bang gear, ano bang lusultan ito? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, masama eh. Tsaka... Ang, Ang apektado, mahihirap, pero wala na sila sa proseso pag, lang, pag yan ay na-approve, yung mga insertions na yan. Maraming maraming salamat po, Attorney Christian Monsod, miyembro po ng 1986 Constitutional Commission at dating COMELEC Chairman. Thank you, sir. Okay. That was very enlightening.